By focusing on effective policy, leveraging the telecom ecosystem, and encouraging innovation from tech behemoths like Huawei, China has been chipping away at big city problems. So we sent the RCR team into the heart of China to learn about 5G. The real-time downlink rate is about 1 gigabit per second. With an estimated economic impact of more than 20 trillion US dollars by 2035, 5G will fundamentally reshape the way we live our lives and conduct our business. On a 4G network today, the network's designed to have about 60,000 devices in one square kilometer, whereas a 5G network will support up to 1 million devices in one square kilometer. 5G has three primary use cases, higher speed, lower latency, and the ability to better interconnect to machines via the Internet of Things. And these benefits have people wondering, what's the rollout going to look like? China Mobile is the largest mobile operator in the world. China Mobile, along with China Telecom and China Unicom, have already begun building the infrastructure, far surpassing the scale seen anywhere else in the world. This is a 5G AAU active antenna unit. This one is a 2G antenna, and this one is a 4G antenna. The 5G antenna is much smaller. What you're seeing in China, and it's a major differentiator, is a focus on mid-band frequencies between 2.6 and 4.9 gigahertz. What you're seeing currently in the US is a focus on millimeter wave bands above 24 gigahertz. What this does is gives operators the ability to deliver an enhanced mobile broadband experience to a consumer where they can see in excess of a gigabit per second down to a smartphone. But millimeter wave has a lot of challenges with it, specifically propagation and building penetration. All of the 70,000 5G base stations that we have shipped are based on 3GPP release 15, among which 97% of them use the massive MIMO technology, and the remaining 3% are the ordinary RRUs. China is taking a top-down approach to making 5G real. This is very different from what you see in other mature cellular markets in the US, Western Europe, Australia, etc. Beyond just this consumer use case, which is obviously important and a great way for operators to drive incremental revenue gains, you're seeing a very careful focus of 5G as the medium for digital transformation across high value industrial and enterprise sectors. According to the Chinese Academy of Information and Communications Technology, the country will invest between 134 and 223 billion US dollars in 5G between 2020 and 2025. This will generate an economic value projected to be as high as 3.7 trillion, with operators realizing some 283 billion dollars in attendant revenue. There's no doubt about it, 5G is here today and it's well ahead of schedule. From both the standardization side through the 3GPP, as well as the availability of network infrastructure and consumer devices, we've seen 5G come to market very rapidly. The big differentiator that you see in China is not just a focus on providing consumers with an enhanced mobile broadband experience, but also using 5G as an enabler for digital transformation in high value industrial and enterprise sectors like mining, public safety, healthcare, and transportation. How will 5G be a platform for technology innovation? There is a fascinating application currently supported by Huawei in Germany, which we call smart parking. With this, you don't need to drive around to find a parking space. Sensors can tell you where vacant parking spaces are. And another application is the smart trash can. Normally, trash is collected once a week, but sometimes trash cans are still half empty on collection day. Now, we can use sensors to tell trash collection trucks which trash can is full and where to collect. This can help save much cost. In Australia, water companies have come up with yet another application. We know that one third of their costs were previously sunk into leaks in their pipes and wasted water. With the use of sensors, these companies can now quickly identify the locations of water leakage and fix them immediately. 
I think the most fundamental requirement of a smart city is to offer convenience to citizens. And most tangibly, 5G will be a game changer for consumers. In addition to the benefits of cloud services and storage, there will be real-time support for applications like mobile gaming, augmented and virtual reality. Thanks to Huawei, China Mobile, and a slew of other companies, 5G will usher in a golden age of productivity and sustainability, driving significant economic value and changing consumer behavior for the better. This exciting new technology will not only improve business outcomes, but most importantly, it will improve the quality of our lives and hopefully allow us to return to a life of balance.